Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Little Red Riding Hood versus the Big Bad Wolf. Whoa, exciting. Okay, once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood went to visit her grandma. But when she knocked on the door, there was an unexpected guest inside. Who could it be? Are you ready? Let's go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. <clears throat> Come on in. She sounds really sick. Good thing I'm here. <laughs> grandma? Huh? Uh, <gasps> Hello, Little Red. Need a tissue? It's the Big Bad Wolf, but he's wearing my grandmother's clothes. <laughs> As if that would fool me. Whatever, I'll just play along. Wow, Grandma, you look real sick. Yes, I'm quite ill. I mean, just awful. You look dreadful. Terrible. Okay, I get it. Enough. And my, how big your teeth look. I don't remember your teeth looking so ridiculously huge. Oh, I mean, oh. And you're so hairy. I don't remember you being so fuzzy. I should probably give you a nice shave. Let me go fetch your razor. No, I mean, I should lie down. I'm feeling quite queasy. Oh, of course. So I tucked in the big bad wolf. Weird, I know. <laughs> he actually did seem a little ill though. Went out like a light. Never mind that. I needed to find my grandma. I looked all around the house, under beds, behind the curtains, inside cupboards, on the roof, grandma, everywhere. Where could she be? But then I heard something. Uh, grandma? I looked everywhere. Where could the sound be coming from? Little Red. I followed the sound of my grandmother's voice all the way to... Huh? Get me out of here, Red! Shh! The wolf is sleeping! How did you get inside his belly? He ate me! What? Swallowed me in one gulp! Lucky for me, he doesn't chew his food! That's why he was feeling so queasy! Well, I'm gonna get you out of there, Grandma! Don't you worry! Hurry! Achoo! Bless you. So kids, I was really in a pickle. How was I supposed to get my grandmother out of the big bad wolf's belly? I decided to consult an expert, the internet. Uh, I keep trying to get grandma to upgrade. Come on, come on. I'm in a hurry, internet. What's time for this? Yeesh. Finally, okay, here we go. What? to do when your grandma gets eaten by a big bad wolf. Hmm, says here I gotta make the wolf throw up. Ew. Gross, or else I'd have to perform surgery to get her out. I know, I'll call the veterinarian, of course. Hello, Dr. Veterinarian? I have a bit of an emergency. I need an operation for my uh, pet wolf. Oh, you don't? Okay, thanks anyway. <sighs> Okay, so it turned out the veterinarian had a strict no wolf policy. Okay, Grandma, looks like we're gonna need to do the throw up thing. Yuck! Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? Oh, I ran outside. Grandma! Grandma! I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh, but I knew I had to be brave to rescue my grandma from the big bad wolf. Slow down, you're jostling me. Can it, Granny? Mind your manners, young man. I've got to remember to chew next time. What was that? Boy, I wish I had picked a less annoying grandma to eat. Oh. I heard that. Grandma! Ah, oh no, not her. Over here, little red. Ow! Jostling! Shush, Grandma, and quit moving around in there! You're giving me indigestion! You just wait! Little Red will come and save me! She's the smartest little whippersnapper I ever saw! But she has to find me first, and she'll never do that! <laughs>
Check it out! I've got the best video games, a milkshake machine, a foosball, and a super classy waterbed. This is where I hibernate, aka nap for the entire winter. Wolves don't hibernate, that's for bears! Well, that's not fair. Hibernation is the best. You eat a huge meal, and then you settle down for a long winter's nap. What could be better? Whatever! And you should be glad, Granny. That means you'll be safe in my tummy for a long, long time. So, I'd been all over the dark woods looking for the big bad wolf and, of course, my grandma. For a while, I could hear my grandma calling for me. But then I lost track of her. Grandma! 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 See? Nothing. I was so scared. What if I never found her? I was starting to freak out. And when I freak out, the only thing I can do to calm me down is a solo dance party. Little Red? Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, Big Al! <laughs> Celebrating because your grandma's all better? No! Not even close! She's gone and I can't find her, Big Al! You were right about the wolf. He's big and he's bad and he ate my grandma. What? Yeah, I know. So I've been looking all over for her and it's like they just disappeared. So, you're dancing? That's what I do to calm down. Oh, gotcha. Well, let's go find your grandma. You help me? Of course. You think I'm gonna stand by while some big bad wolf is terrorizing nice girls and eating their grandmas? It's on. All right, <laughs> let's go kick some big bad wolf tail. <laughs> Friends are just the best. They're always there to make you feel better when you're sad or scared or if your grandma had been eaten by a wolf. <laughs> I do not like it when that happens. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count in. Are you ready to count it? Here we Go! So I tucked in the big bad wolf. Weird, I know. <laughs> he actually did seem a little ill though. Went out like a light. But never mind that. I needed to find my grandma. I looked all around the house. Under beds, behind the curtains, inside cupboards, on the roof, grandma. Everywhere. Where could she be? But then I heard something. <laughs> grandma? I looked everywhere. Where could the sound be coming from? Little Red! I followed the sound of my grandmother's voice all the way to... Help me! Huh? Okay, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one. There's two. And finally, there's three. That was so fun! Did you find them all? Okay, are you ready to play Find It? Here's what you need to look for. Robbie, Crafty Carol, Rena's umbrella, and how about Drew's penultimate? Okay, are you ready? Here we go! Now where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Crafty Carol, where are you hiding? Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Ravi, I see you. Crafty Carol, founder. Dana's umbrella. And finally, Drew's penultimate. That's the last one. We did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference. Ray Blank, Grace Kale, and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Does that look right to you? 
keep searching, see how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. Here's a difference. This color is different. Here's one. This disappeared. Over here. Did you find all of them? Wow, good job. Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye.